In this video, let us look at what the transpose conjugate of a matrix is. So if you have a matrix A, which is of any order, containing some complex entries, is all the entries need not be real. So if you have a matrix A, 2 plus i, 3 minus i, 2i plus 3, i minus 4. So we have a 2 by 2 matrix containing complex entries. Now we define something called A conjugate, that is the conjugate of this matrix, which is defined as a matrix containing the conjugates of each of these elements. It is 2 plus i becomes 2 minus i, 3 minus i becomes 3 plus i, 2i plus 3 is same as 3 plus 2i. This becomes 3 minus 2i. This is i minus 4 or minus 4 plus i. This can be the conjugate of this is minus 4 minus i. So this is also a 2 by 2 matrix where each element is the conjugate of the corresponding element of A. So this matrix is called A conjugate. A conjugate. Now the transpose of this matrix, the transpose of the conjugate is called the transpose conjugate of the original matrix. So A conjugate whole transpose the transpose of the conjugate so this is also represented by a star this can also be represented by a star or this can also be represented by a theta a superscript theta is defined as the transpose of the conjugate matrix it is the conjugate matrix transpose so 2 minus i 3 plus i the rows becomes columns 3 minus 2i minus 4 minus i. So this is the transpose conjugate or the conjugate transpose whatever it is and the representation is either a conjugate transpose, a star or a theta. So as you can see even if you conjugate it first and then take the transpose or transpose it first then take the conjugate you get the same answer all these are same so the conjugate transpose is the mat is the matrix obtained by taking the conjugate of each of the elements and then transposing it so this is the definition of a transpose conjugate so there are some standard properties of conjugates and transpose conjugates that you need to remember. So they, most of them are very straightforward. A conjugate whole conjugate is A. A plus minus B whole conjugate is A conjugate plus minus B conjugate. K A whole conjugate is K conjugate times A conjugate. A B whole conjugate is A conjugate times B conjugate. A power N whole conjugate is A conjugate power N. In very straightforward properties. So these properties will be useful in simpl simplification in problems. And what are the properties of transpose conjugates? A transpose conjugate, whole transpose conjugate gives you A back. A plus B or A minus B whole theta is A theta plus minus B theta. K A theta is K conjugate times A theta. This is the most important property which you need to specially remember. AB whole theta, that is the transpose conjugate of AB is B transpose conjugate times A transpose conjugate. AB whole theta is B theta times A theta. That is the reversal law works. So we have seen that reversal law works in transpose, right? AB whole transpose is B transpose times A transpose. So here also, as you can see within theta, it have a transpose also because theta is conjugate transpose. 
So whenever you get a transpose hidden in the operation, so the reversal rule works. That does not apply here. A B conjugate is directly A conjugate into B conjugate. But A B theta is B theta times A theta. Clearly because there is a transpose involved in the transpose conjugate. And A n whole theta is A theta power n. So these are the properties which you need to keep in mind so that they will be useful in simplifications of problems.